Mr. Mr. Mike, Larry O'Brien, it's his sight. Hit that subscribe bell. Don't forget to like it. Detroit Piston, Piston Mike. You know what time it is. You here for the update? Piston Mike, keep you informed. Make sure your substrate. So you don't ever go without the info that you need. Let's see the Pistons rise. To Detroit the top. Basketball. What's, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Pastor Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't cost you anything, not even nickel or dime. Shout out to Alex for always keeping me updated. Click the link in the description for your cool Pistons gear. We're going to get into it. So, Cam Whitmore has worked out with two teams that are in the lottery, and none of them are the Pistons. Number one for the Indiana Pacers, and number two for the Utah Jazz. So, there's a possibility... There could be some trades made with either or either team. We all know that the Utah Jazz got like 15 first round picks over the next like six, seven seasons, something crazy like that. Um, the Indiana Pacers got extra first. They got like three of them. They got the 7th, the 28th, and the 26th. The Utah Jazz got the 9th and 16th. And reportedly, the Detroit Pistons are interested in trading up for G.G. Jackson from that 31 from G.G. Jackson or Jordan Hawkins. So, um, the Utah Jazz can make a quite an interesting offer. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't want to give up Walker Kessler or what is the guy name? Um, Walker Kessler or... What do I'm thinking of? Lori Markin. And then we go. They're not giving up either one of those. Maybe they'll give up a Colin Sexton. We kind of don't need him. But if you want to play a six man. Before, I would want Jared Vanderbilt. If they would have gave me that. But he on the Lakers. So, I don't know any wins that they got that would be intrigued for the Pistons. But let's just say they gave us 9 and 16. And one or two, one more pick for the 2024 draft. I think that gets it done. Unless they were to give up somebody need a value right now. But if not, um, if they can give us four picks, maybe. I doubt it. But I would take three picks. Two for this year, one for next year. That's what I would do for Cam Whitmore. Because I think Cam Whitmore is going to be a star. But... For the Indiana Pacers, it's a little bit different. Why do you say that, Pistons? Mike, they got a couple guys I like. I like Jordan Nora. I know they traded for him. I like um who who's the old guy. I'm not interested in um what's his name? Chris Dorte is kind of interesting too. I'm not gonna lie, them two guys that I'm quite intrigued by. Um, I'm not interested in um, taking on Buddy Hill. Or um, Miles Turner, but Buddy Hill kind of interesting because he's in the last deal of his contract. They, they gave me seven, twenty, and twenty six. Okay, but I will need Jordan Nora or Chris Duarte, in my opinion, to be intrigued. Um, maybe I will take maybe another first round pick next year, and that could get it done. But like I said, man. It's going to be interesting. The Pistons have not worked out. Cam Whitmore, Jarez Walker, none of them guys. Taylor Hendricks, nobody knows. Sorry, Thompson, no, none of that. So it's very interesting. The two teams that have worked out for them are rumored to be teams that's willing to trade up. So we will see what happens. It's going to be a very interesting offseason. We got Monty Williams on the Detroit Pistons. Come on. This is absolutely nuts. So, here's your boy, Pistol Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't cost you anything, not even nickel or dime. Shout out to Alex, for always keeping me updated. I love you guys, man. It's your boy, Pistol Mike. I'm out, man. Peace. Let's go.
Detroit border, it's part of the culture. To deep base, the trade you wanna boast. You know the facts, the robbery test the road. Kill and get haze, deadly handles our exposure, cool composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round tick, had him sick. K cunning hell, that's John Duncan, man. I don't know about y'all, but we come to my Raza Grant. They all jumping in. Pissing Mike, we taking flight. Click like and subscribe, we can keep you right. to 210 pounds, six to eight foot long. They're smaller in warm water areas because they don't have to eat as much to stay warm and larger in cold water areas. I was in the like seen four summers life. ago. There's Jagger. Hey, Jack. Back the trailing edge of her pen is all scarred up. That's why we call her Jagger. She's been around a long time. Cetaceans, that's a marine mammal with a blowhole. Here they come. 